Hello, my name is Dr. Fernanda Camargo and I am the Equine Extension Professor at the University of Kentucky. And today we're going to learn on how to help your horse put on weight. So I receive a lot of emails and phone calls of clients that have horses that are too thin and obviously we live in Lexington, Kentucky, so this is where a lot of thoroughbreds also reside. And sometimes thoroughbreds can actually be a little bit on the thin side or, or high maintenance or not an easy keeper, as opposed to quarter horses, for example, that were bred to be easy keepers. They were bred to live in Texas and thrive and not a very lush grass, which is what we have here in Kentucky, and also to work all day long. And then when you remove those horses to uh, the lush pastures of Kentucky, they may become fat, as opposed to thoroughbreds, they're a little bit more high strung, and other breeds of horses as well, and they may have a little bit of a difficult time maintaining proper weight. So today we're going to give you tips on how to actually uh, help your horse gain weight. So first of all, you need to make sure that your horse doesn't have any physical ailment. So you need to have a thorough checkup by the veterinarian done and he can check the teeth of the horse and the horse uh, may need his teeth floated. You need to do um, a thorough uh, fecal egg count to see if your horse has a heavy burden of worms. Another thing that is important also to do is that some horses may have gastric ulcers and gastric ulcers uh, can have different presentations. So the horse is not gaining weight, the horse is too agitated all the time. And the only way to actually know if your horse has gastric ulcers or not is to do a videoscope of the stomach of the horse. So after you have cleared your horse from these ailments, it's time to actually start putting weight on this horse. So, the way to put weight on horses is you need to understand that weight comes from calories. What do I mean by weight comes from calories? From the calorie intake on what the horse eats and also caloric expenditure. So you need to put weight on a horse, increase the number of calories that this horse is eating and decrease the number of calories that this horse is expanding. And this is how we are going to do this. So number one, make use of the pasture that we have, especially if you have lush pastures in places, make sure that you allow your horse ample time to actually graze out in the pasture. Also, you have to, if you have a county agent, you need to contact your county agent to come over and take a look at your pasture to see if your pasture has actually edible plants. Not everything that is green, can be eaten by these horses, so we need to make sure that their pasture has a mixture of grasses, legumes, and things that the horse can actually eat. So it is important to understand that horses need at least 2% of their body weight in grass or hay. So that means that for a thousand pound horse, he needs to eat at least 20 pounds of good grass or good hay. And if this horse is needing to gain weight, it's likely that he needs to eat more than that. So one of the things, the first thing that you're going to do uh, after the horse has been cleared out by the vet is that you are going to give this horse good quality hay. What is good quality hay? It is a hay that was harvested and not at a not very mature stage of the plant. So no seed heads, the, the stems are not super stemmy, there's a lot of leaves on this hay and this is what you want to feed your horse. It doesn't matter if it's legumes such as alfalfa or if it is a good grass hay such as an orchard grass, but it needs to be high quality and it needs to have been harvested at a young stage of the plant. So number one, you're going to give good quality hay. Number two, you're going to give more of that good quality hay. A lot of the things also that uh, I would like for this horse to see is if you don't have enough quality hay, you can also buy uh, at any store such as Tractor Supply, Southern States, you can buy alfalfa cubes and that is good quality and you can actually give the alfalfa cubes to the horse as well. The other thing that you're going to do is to uh, add concentrate to the diet of this horse. So there are nowadays many, many different brands of concentrate and many different types. So according to what your horse needs, which is to gain weight, so there are concentrates that have higher amounts of fat and uh, there are other ones that are safe and are supposed to be uh, complete feeds and they have higher amount of fiber. So choose whatever concentrate that you're going to choose. You need to follow the label to see how much of that concentrate you're going to give to the horse. It is important that when adding this different type of hay, 
and concentrate to the horse that you do it in a gradual way so the horse doesn't get an upset GI tract, such as colic. So it is, uh, so in the label of the concentrate, say some of them are five pounds per day. It is important that you divide those in smaller rations, such as two and a half pounds in the morning and two and a half pounds in the evening. Some horses would also benefit if you give two in the morning, two in the evening, or two in the midday and two in the evening, making it a six pounds a day, and that it in very small rations. The other thing that you can do, you can also add some fats. So you can do, for the, for the purpose of weight gain, any kind of fat we will actually do as long as it's from a vegetable, not mineral oil. But you can give vegetable oil, some people like corn oil, some people like canola oil. There are different fat supplements such as rice bran. Uh, it is, you can do that as long as you do it also in a gradual way. So you can start out with a quarter of a cup in the morning, a quarter of a cup in the evening, and you can go to half a cup in the morning, half a cup in the evening, and so forth. So do it gradually so the horse doesn't have any GI upsets. The other thing that is important for this horse to do, like I said in the beginning, is that number one, increase the caloric intake of this horse. Number two is decrease the caloric expenditure of this horse. So if this horse is on heavy work, you're probably going to slow down the work for this horse because he is expending energy and therefore calories as he is working. Now if this horse is in training and must be worked for some sort of competition, then one of the things that you can do is work him in the evening only when the weather is a little bit cooler than when it's 100 degrees outside. Or if you can actually give this horse a break and instead of working him five days a week just do it twice a week, that would actually be excellent as well. Another thing that I would like to touch is the fact that some horses, if you do group feeding, if he's the lowest of the pack, uh, he's actually not going to eat at all. And just the anxiety of being in that group sometimes is enough for the horse to just stop eating and even develop ulcers. So at the time of feeding, especially for the thin horse, you need to remove him from his pasture and feed him individualized so, you can, so he can have peace because there's a frenzy that happens when you're feeding horses, so this horse needs to eat at peace so he's able to masticate, to chew his feed, and be able to digest it well. It is also important that before you give feed to the horse, you can give him a flake of hay prior to give the concentrate feed, so that slows down the traffic, the transit time of the concentrate feed inside the GI tract of the horse and that enables the horse to actually get every nutrient possible out of the concentrate. And those things are very important. So just to summarize, number one, make sure that the horse does not have any medical ailments. Number two, you're going to feed high quality hay. And number three, a lot of the high quality hay. You can also add alfalfa cubes to the horse. Number four, you are going to uh, increase concentrate, add concentrate or increase the amount of concentrate. You can also add fats to this horse. Number six, you are going to um, change the way that you feed this horse. If he's in a group feeding situation, you're going to bring him inside and actually feed him individualized. And number seven, you are going to diminish the time that you're spending working this horse to give him enough time to actually gain weight. So decrease the energy spent for this horse. And I hope that that's, you can do well with your horses with these tips. Thank you. Mm -hmm.